Hi everyone, my name is Gio. Welcome to today's stream. We are going to be interviewing um, Damien today and I'm very excited. They're just in the other room and because this is going to be voice only, we uh, we have their PNG. We're gonna have that all sorted. I'm very excited. As we always sit in every other 32 in queue, we're gonna make sure you and me are looking at the same time, okay? You can learn from these conversations and bring those interviews with you. But do not go to the streamer's stream and harass them and intentionally trigger them. Because if you do, I'm ready to beat you up. Okay, we're going to bring Damien in, in here. Let's hear their beautiful voice first. Yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell the chat who you are, what you stream? Hello, my name is Damien, or you can call me Demon, whichever you prefer. Demon. I'm usually a variety streamer. I like to play a lot of different games. Didn't really have a schedule. I kind of just played when I wanted to. <laughs> Okay, what what do you define as love? How do you see love? So love comes in many different ways. Mm. Whether it's like relationships, friendship, you know, you guys have your own boundaries, you know, not to push the limits. There's always some attention there. It doesn't always have to be there all the time. Mm. Because, you know, we can't always give attention to the same person. Because I have other people in my life that I need to give attention as well. I feel like love is still an experience which opens it to problems but learning how to compromise on those problems for me like i struggled with the idea of love because there was like you know i'm a perfectionist to some degree um and i've been trying to work on it for the last like four or five years um and i've been trying to like understand like where the perfection came from and like where it stemmed from and how much perfectionism really like negatively affects your perception of love and for me it manifested to a way of just like if they don't do this they don't they don't really love me so for me yeah. like it it meant a lot of like trying to learn and like communicate and like comprehend the others and it meant a lot i know i know <laughs> women loving women relationships really like that's where i grow <laughs> do you believe in first love or like love at first sight here we go love at first sight definitely Really? Yeah. Oh, is that how you met your girlfriend? No, I I mean, my first love. <laughs> oh. I, I saw her and I was just like, wow. She's kira, wild. kira. <laughs> yeah, and then we like, uh, we dated for about four, four years. Four years she, love. She was, she was my best friend actually in middle school. She confessed to me, even though I didn't know that she liked me because I like was really in love with her. Out of the blue, she's just like, I really like you. And I was like, what? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Hello? <laughs> I was like, what? what are you talking about? <laughs> wow. I thought, we, I thought we had that, like, oh, we're only best friends type of thing, you know? And especially when it's like, if it, it is your first love, that's, I feel like that's how people create the benchmark of, like, what love is for them. And I'm glad this one treated you so well, but It was like, you know, middle school time and high schools where some parents were like, I'm not okay that you're a lesbian. So her mom always tried to break us up. Oh, were you open to your family or like to your friends and stuff? Yeah, in middle school. Um, okay. My friends kind of already figured it out because <laughs> I guess they said it's noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sometimes when you're in the closet and you I mean, find out that the closet was glass, betrayed. <laughs> I don't blame them. I mean, I dressed like a guy. I hung out with a lot of girls. Yeah, when I finally told them, it was super funny because it was like me and there was like my other friend. And then we had another guy. So okay. all three of us are hanging out. And then JB goes, Yo, I need to tell you something. And I was like, Oh, we're talking to each other now? I was like, All right, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> and then Matt was like, right, I gotta tell you something. And JB goes, I'm gay. And I was like, me too. And then Matt was just like, me too. <laughs> and the thing is too, so like I'm not open to like majority of my friends. Only like the the small groups I've opened myself to. The others, I, I don't trust them. <laughs> I want yeah. to be someone who's like so open with their sexuality. Because I think that's so freeing. I honestly think i wouldn't have told my mom though yeah because i was also scared yeah she always told me like you know if your grandma finds out she will she will break her heart and this and that and whatever it is like she'd always say things like that so she always said always asked me like oh do you have a boyfriend do you have a boyfriend i'm like yes i do have a boyfriend i dated four guys <laughs> Yeah, it and hurts, then, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she only found out it's because I was in a relationship and it got bad. Mm -hmm. And 
I like started. Yeah. So then mm -hmm. I went to my counselor in school because I got so mad during one of my math class. She was in my math class and we were like fighting. So I was just like, I hate you. Then I left, went to the counselor and she was just like, Damien, what's wrong? And I was just like, I'm just having problems, you know? Mm -hmm. And she was going to talk about it. So I told her everything, you know, I even, I was being honest with her and I think I kind of knew that maybe I needed help. And she was like, you know, I have to call your mom. And I was like, I know. I knew she was gonna say that and I still told her because I think I needed to let somebody know. So my mm. mom came in and she like she was like, What's the problem? What's going on? I was like, Damien, do you wanna tell? I was like, Mom, I'm gay. <laughs> uh. And she just she started crying. She's like bawling her eyes. She's like, I don't care if you're gay or whatever. You do whatever you want with your life. You know, it's fine as long as you're happy. But just don't don't do stuff like that. It's really bad for you. It felt much better, lighter than before. Mm. I was scared that I had to go through my whole life not telling my mom that I had a girlfriend or like, hey mom, I don't want to date guys. <laughs> yeah. And stuff like that. I, I think it's it's a huge challenge on like how we see people come out. Like for example, um, I saw a lot of coming out videos and this was like 2014, 2012. And that was like, like a trend in YouTube, which the whole mess in itself but um i i always had this image of like how to come out to your parents and sometimes with life you can't control how it is so although the premise was you know wasn't ideal i'm glad you told her and i'm like that is so heartwarming she said i don't give a f be gay just don't don't because overall, you're her baby. <laughs> if you were going to become a close friend with your partner, share what would be important for them to know. I would like to let them know about my depression first. Mm. And mm. to see if it's acceptable. Because you know how not yeah. seeing a lot of people doesn't really accept it. But some people are probably like probably too much for me to handle i don't know if i would be able to take care of this person because of this right so i think if i end up getting like a new relationship i'd probably want to tell them hey i'm a big old f mess right now and same I'm not saying <laughs> what like, do you mean <laughs> you take care of me but mm -hmm. do you think water my garden sometimes <laughs> yeah no i love that i think it's because that's a really big step for somebody in order to try and you know get used to yeah and not a lot of people are the type that are like not saying that they're not supportive but it's more of like they just it might be too overwhelming for them yes and how i phrase that is that they may not have capacity for it you know, sometimes, oh, that's a good example. Sometimes the people's ability to empathize with others, I just spilled on myself. Some people's ability to empathize with others is very small. When you are able to provide a whole cup. So it's not that they're intentionally hurting you, it's just they don't know. Mm -hmm. huh? Crazy. Yeah, no, I love that. Thank you for being honest. I think knowing how deep your depression has gone it feels like we're kind of on the same boat baby yeah because i feel like i don't want to just get into a relationship and have all these type of problems have them figure it out later because yeah what and if, then they get they, overwhelmed mm. yeah what if they triggered me and yeah I no i totally get that i just kind of shut them out yeah and didn't say anything mm. and they're just like why are you like this why are you acting like blah 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 and then it'll just like really irk me mm. like, why do you keep asking me questions it's just, like, mm. true sometimes when they ask questions it's so insensitive and i'm like home skillet you gotta relax <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know like they're trying to do their best to support you but because they don't have yeah. capacity they're trying to sympathize instead of empathize and that f me up because like as much as your intention isn't ill it does hurt it would know. also be like my fault for not actually saying something in the beginning and kind of just like letting it flow through but it's all it takes a lot to be vulnerable it takes, it takes a lot babes don't 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 be so harsh on yourself i'm gonna beat you up 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you are Elastigirl! My god, pull oh, yourself yeah, together! Yeah. What were you doing? Is, is, is this a question? It's my fault. <laughs> We're all just trying to thrive, baby. <laughs> I know, I know. You know, sometimes you'd be clumsy with it. It's all part. It's all part of it. Thank you so much for sharing, Damien. It was a blast <laughs> having you on stream. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely.